हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम वेक्टर मैकेनिक्स बाय बेर एंड जॉनसन फ्रॉम चैप्टर टू द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द हाइड्रोलिक सिलेंडर बी सी एक्सर्ट्स ऑन मेंबर ए बी अ फोर्स पी डायरेक्टेड अलॉन्ग लाइन बी सी सो दिस हाइड्रोलिक सिलेंडर इज अप्लाइंग द फोर्स ऑन दिस मेंबर ए बी लाइक दिस and it is said that knowing that p must have 600 newton component perpendicular to member ab so we are given the component of that force p perpendicular to this ab and that magnitude is 600 newton it is said that determine the magnitude of the force p and its component along line ab so now if we consider A B C triangle. This A B C triangle. So this angle comes out to be one hundred and five degrees. Since the sum of the angles of a triangle is one eighty, so one eighty minus forty five minus thirty is one hundred and five. This is one hundred and eighty minus thirty uh, minus forty five. This gives us one hundred and five. So this means that uh, this angle is one hundred and five degrees. So now we have we are given the magnitude of the component which is perpendicular to this AB arm. So first of all we have to find the line which should be perpendicular to this AB. So if this angle is one hundred and five degrees, so somewhere here we will have a a line which will be perpendicular to this AB arm. So let's say if I move the head of uh, this. bc line so somewhere here let's say somewhere here let's say that this red line is uh, perpendicular to this ab so now we are given that um, uh, hydraulic cylinder is applying the force on this ab so the force applied by the hydraulic cylinder is along bc like this and that force is p and the component of this force p which will be acting along this red line will be perpendicular to that ab and that component magnitude is given so let's say this is that component which is perpendicular so this is that p perpendicular and its magnitude is 600 newton and the component which, which will be along this ab arm will be acting like this so this will be p parallel so the summation of this p parallel this p parallel plus this p perpendicular will give us this p by head to tail rule if we add this p parallel with p perpendicular so both of them must give us this p which is the parent of both of these components So now we are required to find this p magnitude, and we are required to find this p parallel magnitude. So now we know that this angle is one hundred and five, and this angle is ninety um, degrees. One hundred and five minus ninety will give us this angle. So one hundred and five minus ninety is fifteen. So this means that p parallel is making. Uh, sorry, this p force is making. uh 15 degrees with the p perpendicular or the line which is perpendicular to the ab arm so this is 15 degrees now in other words we can say that uh, this force p is making 15 degrees with the line which is perpendicular with this ab arm So now we can see that this perpendicular component is adjacent to this fifteen degree angle. So this one will be the cos component. So again, we will write that p perpendicular is six hundred. Uh, sorry, six hundred magnitude. But let me write it like this. This is um, p perpendicular will be uh, p cos of fifteen degrees, and this is equal to six hundred. Newton, six hundred Newton is given in the problem statement. So now from this we can find P force magnitude if we divide both sides of equation by cos of fifteen. So six hundred divided by cos of fifteen gives us six hundred and twenty one point one seven. So we can say that P force is approximately. 
621 newtons and similarly the p parallel component is not adjacent to the angle so that will be the sine component so p parallel will be p sine of 15 degrees now p magnitude is known which is 621 sine of 15 so we can say that this answer sine of 15 so the p parallel the component which is along that a b member magnitude is 161 newton approximately so this is the solution to part a and this is the solution to part b so i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problem solutions from vector mechanics by bear and johnston